Hey there, foodies. Ready to eat? We sure hope you are, because all of us here have prepared a new and altogether edible challenge for you. Lots of big, medium, and small foods are waiting. Fred, Haley, and Rachel are hankering to start, and you better be ready too. Here we go. The gang has gotten together for a weekend movie-thon, and of course, everyone's brought snacks for themselves, although Haley has quite a bit more than Rachel. Hey, that's not fair. I want that many chips too. Hold up, neither of you have seen Fred's massive bowl yet. Ah, uh, there he is. Whoa, he can't eat all those. I'm already looking at nothing but crumbs. Fred was clearly thinking ahead. How many bags did you pour into that bowl, man? Every last one you could find? Fred, friend, don't you maybe want to share a few chips with little old me? Yeah, and me too. Uh, sorry, but no, girl. This is only enough for me. Come on, Fred. You could spare a few. You've got enough to feed at least five people there. Watch out there. The girls are of the same mind and seem determined to make your chips their chips. Hey, what gives? These are mine. Let go of them. Be careful or else they're all going to spill. See, I told you. <laughs> well, if you just agreed to share it, you'd still have some. And now see what's happened? Sad, really. Oh, those were my favorites! You do! Time for round one, then. Our trio is prepared to eat until they pop. Especially Fred, who just had his snacks stolen away. Fred, don't sweat that. There's about to be all kinds of tasty treats to sample. More than you'll know what to do with, really. First, let's sort out how much everyone will be getting. Well, show us already. Aw, oh, man, again I get the least. Nah, <laughs> girls, justice has been served and the biggest portion will definitely be mine. And I get the same amount, too. Shall we see what's awaiting you three under those? Ooh, three plates of broccoli. That sure looks delicious, right, Fred? Why the face, man, don't you like fresh veggies? Just goes to show you that bigger isn't always better. Keep that in mind, kids. Rachel, show the class how it's done. Hmm. hmm, it's really not that bad. Actually, better than I thought it'd be. Eating your greens isn't so bad when it's in a little batch like this. Oh, yes. Guess I'm up then. Ooh, this is great. Wow, Haley, quite the herbivore you are today. Enjoying your rabbit food? Bit of a change after those chips, isn't it? Thinking of going vegan? All right, Fred. Don't let the girls show you up. Take down that tree. No. Ew. I can't eat this. Uh, what's this? That would be the punishment box, Fred. For those who decline to fulfill the challenge and eat what's in front of them. Flicks to the forehead. Oh, man. Get ready, dude. Rachel and I don't take this responsibility lightly. One, two, three, bam. Hang in there, Fred. The tables could turn. Straight down to business. What are we eating and how much for everyone? It's a gamble on both fronts for these guys, but all is fair in love and challenges. I hope I'm more lucky this time. Oh. I'd say there's a strong possibility that you will be, or not. <laughs> All depends on what's been cooked up for you. Time to lift those lids, kids. Yes. Seriously? French fries? Well, what do you have to say about that, Fred? Drooling yet? Oh yeah, a little greasy food does the soul good. Finally. No, no. Really? One whole fry? This is almost worse than none at all. Now Rachel and Fred, on the other hand, have a real French fry feast. Don't let your parents know about this or they won't let you have any more for at least a week. Eat up, guys. Oh. Don't let them get cold. Wow, Fred, are you sure you can handle all that? Yeah, of course you can. And enjoy that treat while you can. Who knows what'll be next? Hey, what do you two think you're doing? Hands off. You had yours, now sit there quietly and watch me eat mine. Yum. I could eat twice this much. Couldn't you, girls? 
Ready or not, it's time for round three. Everyone's just as nervous as they were for the first one. You just never know how much you'll have to stomach or what it'll be. That's what makes this challenge great. It could be something you'd never touch in your life if it weren't for this, but there's no getting out of it here. Either you eat or you face the consequences. And who wants to get flicked or something worse? Let's take a look at the latest dish. What is that? Seaweed? <sighs> Looks like it. Ew, uh, this is a fishy nightmare. Is this even edible? And that smell. Fred, you'll have to kick this off. You need to set an example for the other two on how to tackle exotic foods. There, see? That wasn't so bad. Well, Rach, what do you say? Woohoo! Somebody's cruising for a bruising. What does the box have to say? What? An egg on my head? Oh. How is that fair? <laughs> Haley, what about you? Eat up, Missy. <sighs> Haley, what's with you? Wake up! Rachel's got this. She and Haley have been friends for a long time, and she's fully aware that Haley is simply trying to get out of chowing down her portion. We know what you're trying to pull. Pull a slip of paper already. I also have to get egg on my face? Oh man! You ring? Okay. I'm here to help the both of you out. Catch and one. And two. Oh, no. Now this is getting really fun. Ew. Give these a little switcheroo. It's nice being the one handing out the cards. Theoretically, you could pull a little sleight of hand and leave yourself the best one, but I'm thinking Fred mixed them up so well he hasn't the slightest which is which. Plus, who knows what's being served up? Is it better to get the big or small plate? Only one way to find out. The big reveal, guys. Wow. Whoa, cheesy, crunchy goodness. Now that's beautiful. One of these three is particularly pleased, namely Haley. Look at that mountain in front of her. Mount Cheddar. Sweet Fred thought he had the upper hand and look how that played out. Happens to the best of us, man. Enjoy your small plate. Finally, something I want to eat. Rachel, let's race, huh? Those girls can eat. Where are they putting it all? Are you guys just that hungry or what? You aren't even chewing at this point. No choking, please. <laughs> just finished them already. No need to rub cheesy salt in my wound with your crunching. What's with me and chips today? Um, I'm not a towel. Over the line, guys. Big, big, the biggest. I want the big plate. I've got a good feeling, and I won't watch everyone else eat all the good stuff anymore. Wow. So sorry, big guy, but this time around, the best and the biggest will be mine. Medium? Well, at least I won't have small. That's something. <gasps> yeah, well, let's just see what kind of food it is. Wow. Yes! Just what I was hoping for. I ain't mad at that. A classic Italian delight was spun up for the gang as a gift. You were all hoping for something super appetizing. Well, there you go. Nothing better than pizza. Every foodie has their favorite style, and sampling bite by bite isn't the worst thing. Right, Rachel? We could have left you with nothing. Could be worse, honey. Fred, what's the rush? Nobody's gonna take your piece away. Or is it just so delicious you can't help yourself? Okay, no more complaints from me. All good. Haley isn't messing around and won't be making a mess either. The napkin is a nice touch. And with a piece that big, it's likely to come in handy. Good luck, lady. How is such a tiny person going to finish that massive slice? With pleasure. That's how. Obviously. Rachel, how dare you? Tisk tisk. Uh -huh. Rachel, that's a no-no, girl. Rules say keep your hands to yourself. And for breaking that particular rule, I'm afraid you're gonna have to pay. 
Draw, draw. What? No. A spoonful of wasabi? I don't do spicy foods. Even if you did, I don't think anyone is ready for this kind of task. On the bright side, nothing will be able to shock you after this. And you can brag to everyone you see that you Ew. overcame the worst. Ew. It burns. It so burns. Oh. After so many different foods, now would be a great time for a reboot. Of course, it'd be nice to stretch out on a beach somewhere or walk off some of those calories. But the game continues nonetheless. And we're all in this for the long haul. How each will react to which card they end up with is a mystery at this point. Before they know what they need to eat, there's no knowing. Wow. Oh, yes. <gasps> Ooh, Oreos! Nice. Wow! Nice! Looks like your prayers have been answered. This treat is so that all of you can relax a bit and enjoy your favorite cookies with your closest friends without worrying about anything else. And it doesn't matter how many are on your plate, we're all friends here. And the rules don't say anything about sharing. What else are besties for? Am I right? What do you say, girls? I think Fred would be terribly grateful and happy if you all pooled your resources. Don't you think? Hey! Hmm. Oh, really? Are all these for me? Not quite. All those are for all of you. Whoa. Here's some milk for good measure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for your viewing pleasure, we bring you watermelon. Large, medium, and small sized. Take your pick. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Actually, pick your pick would be more accurate. Of course, it'll be delicious no matter what portion our contestants are left with. You can't go wrong with watermelon. Let the cards fall where they may. Come to pop a big guy! This thing's bigger than my head! So, Haley, how's your mini melon? Don't tell me it isn't good! I think you're just too jealous of the others to enjoy it. Whoa. Wow! Whoa, Rach! How did you do that? Are you a master fruit ninja? Props to your mad skills! It's yeah. just so juicy and delicious! Slow your roll, girl, or else you're gonna eat the whole thing, rind and all. Fred, are you ready to follow suit? Cool. Watermelon being the biggest fruit is the best fruit. Oh yeah, I'm stuffed to the brim. The finish line is in sight for our trio. All that's left is the final round. And that promises to be something really special. We can't just wrap up a challenge without a big bang. Who's ready to see what's on the table for the grand finale? Okay. Chili peppers? Now that's what I call a hot take. What do you say, guys? Are you ready to kick things up a notch? Get to it then. Ew. Time to separate the boys from the men. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, hi, birds. <laughs> Quite the show from Fred. Girls, I hope he didn't scare you off. Oh, no. Haley, you okay? Water, oh water, water! No. Hey, we can have water? Nobody told me. It's the last round. Anything goes, man. Rachel, I feel for you, girl. But you can totally do this. Hmm, it's sweet. No way, I can't believe my luck. Who knew that peppers could be so tasty? Huh? The conditions of today's competition are none too easy. Whoever has landed with the supersized glass will have to drink more than everyone else this round. And what are we starting with? 
Ooh, a chili pepper cocktail? Made just the way it sounds. That's something better suited for dragons than humans, wouldn't you say? Sorry, guys. Time to hand out the glasses and get started. Emma looks out with the little cup. She should be thanking her lucky stars. Though that doesn't mean it will be easy. <laughs> Leah is looking at the big cup. And Ben, supersized. Look at him, he's shaking with fear. Emma kicks it all off, taking the very first taste. She barely got down her portion, and that's not a good sign for the other two, who are way worse off. Ben's eyes just keep getting bigger and bigger, but he's still got time. Leah's up. She's going to need a few minutes to drink the pepper juice. Ben offers all the help he can, but I think she's got this. Impressive. A small breather, and she's ready to soldier on. But she's super thankful for that glass of cold water. It got her to the finish line. Okay, Ben, you've got the hardest task of all. Is he really going to do it? That'd be a no. Ooh. He knows there's no way he can stomach that much fiery juice and refuses to even try. But the rules clearly state that if a contestant won't finish what's in front of them, then they're looking at some form of punishment. Mm. Nothing too terrible, huh? but not pleasant either. Ooh. Take your pick, Ben. <laughs> what is that, an egg? <laughs> oh, present your noggin, mister. <laughs> At least it doesn't burn. <laughs> <laughs> Round two begins. Have any guesses as to what our trio will be drinking this time? Well, there's no such thing as an easy challenge. Who'd want that? We're serving up tea made with about a thousand bags. That'll wake up just about anyone. Even Sleeping Beauty would jump up and sprint a few laps after just one sip of such strong, strong caffeinated tea. Ben, hold up the cards for the choosing. Any chance Emma will pick the best one again? Sorry, girl, you've been landed with the toughest card of all. Hope you're a massive fan of leafy drinks. Way better than chili peppers, at least. Ah, uh, Leah made the right choice this round. Breathe easy, hun. Ben, that leaves you with the medium-sized portion. Go on, Leah, take a sip and let us know if it's awful or really awful. Hmm, mm, doesn't look so bad. But the other two are shocked at how easy she drank that. Maybe that means Ben won't wuss out a second time in a row and will actually get in this game. Stop fussing already, man. Pull yourself together and drink that tea, or you'll never live this day down. Hmm. One thing we do have to give Ben is he's very resourceful, if not terribly brave, and has thought up a way to down this bitter drink. A slice of lemon. Yum! And as we all know, a spoonful of sugar helps anything go down. Emma isn't going to back down, but that doesn't mean she's looking forward to drinking this. That girl's willpower and determination is unparalleled. If she has to chug tea, she'll do it. Good for you, Emma. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, the drink isn't clear, and it isn't clear what the drink is. But when is it ever? That's what makes challenges so fun. This is a super mix of Coke, 
Fanta, and Sprite. Have you ever tried this delicacy? Do it and write in the comment section what you thought. For now, we'll have to settle with finding out how these three like it. Emma is looking at the big glass. She's pretty sure this bubbly beverage will be pretty great, so she's all smiles. <gasps> Leah pulled the supersized portion, and so her smile's even wider. And Ben's going to have to make do with the smallest. He'll barely get a good taste, and it'll already be gone. But he will be first, that's pretty nice. As you can tell, Ben really likes it and is only sad it disappeared so quickly. <sighs> hey, maybe Emma wants to share a bit of hers. She's not a greedy person, so Ben knows she won't say no. She's a true friend, no matter the situation. She shares candy and ice cream and any snack she happens to have, really. Yep, she'll leave him a few gulps for sure. Okay, maybe sips? Or… Oh, Emma was enjoying herself so much she barely left more than a couple drops. That's disappointing for Ben. But really, Leah is the one he should have asked. She's got a whole pitcher of the stuff. Think she's got room for all that? Wow. Apparently, she did. And without any help from the others, color us all rather impressed by that show. You. Ooh. 